Am I happier in Spain than I was in the Philippines? Um, I would say being in Spain is some differences. Um, the first one is that April is already gaining her independence. Now that's an important thing for me because I know um, in the Philippines I've seen it a few times where the foreigners died and basically so is the money. Um, I would not want my wife and kids being in that situation. So that was a big burden in, in many ways because you've got to make sure that either you're making good money in the Philippines, um, that it's sustainable for the family, or you've got to have some other form of income that will be ongoing even if you got hit by a bus tomorrow. That's the reality. Here in Spain, April can now work. April will be learning to drive soon to make her even more independent. Um, perfect timing for the bell. Um, there's simply less reliance on me. Um, Um, yeah, there's, there's less reliance on me, which is a very positive thing, because at the end of the day, um, I know that April and the kids are taken care of. I mean, financially, we're okay anyway, but the reality is now, April could finance herself if something ever happened to me anyway. Um, the other thing is, the kids have now got a more secure future, because they're halfway through having European passports. Uh, which basically gives them a lot more opportunity than they would get with Philippines passports. Um, there people think, oh well, you know, that's a bit unfair. You know what? Just look at what people get paid because a lot of people talk about equality and everything else. A lot of the time, if you actually look at what people get paid, it's often based on where they come from. Um, having Spanish passports it offers more opportunities. Um, also, the kids are multilingual, there's another plus side. For me, I've always been more European anyway. Um, I spent most of my childhood um, in other countries. Up till 89, I hadn't really spent a long period of time in the UK. Uh, I spent six years in Germany. Um, I've been in many other countries and in all honesty, I found the UK a little bit strange for, for many of the ways it, that it has. I think there's too much focus on money and paying bills and chasing things that we don't really need. Um, and that's one of the reasons I was quite happy to leave the UK myself. Um, Um, no, but the, ultimately, we're happy here. The Philippines, there's problems with pollution, problems with corruption, um, problems for future generations. And I know things are changing now, but it ain't going to happen overnight. It ain't going to be quick. It's not... Um, going to be something that will overhaul the entire country in one go um, and yeah Spain has its issues as well but in all honesty we don't really have the pollution where we are we don't really have any stress of any type um, because once you get over the immigration process getting residencia and all that sort of stuff 
the weight just disappears, the pressure just disappears. Because even getting a local job here, financially, you can afford your rent and pay all your bills. You know, that's the reality of it. Um, and Tribeca, where we are sitting right now, um, has some of the lowest pay in Spain. But you also bear in mind, it's also not too expensive to live here. And that, that, that's a plus side, but there's a lot of small businesses here, there's a lot of opportunity here. Um, so yeah, I mean obviously we don't live in Tribeca, we live in La Mata, but we're literally only five kilometers up the road. Um, so that's, that's it. It's just chilled out, more relaxed. Um, also work-wise, I can contract to the UK and commute for the weekends, etc. I can go to the UK for meetings and work from home in Spain because the cost of flight isn't too expensive if you time it right and book ahead. Um, which means work, not an issue. Um, it's just stress-free. Philippines is a bit harder. Even trying to organize work, a lot of people will not give you any work until they actually know you're physically in the UK. They don't want to line anything up uh, in case you change your mind. So they don't want to like get you a contract and you not show up because you're halfway around the world. So being in Spain, it's, it's just as quick from here to London as it is from Worcester to London. You know, by plane here, it's two and a half hours maybe three hours um, the train normally takes me at least three hours each way plus getting up at stupid o'clock just to get on the train and the train's more expensive as well bizarrely all right thanks for watching